Oh no, okay, I'm scared. Just ripped this apart with my bare hands. That was so dangerous. Mmm, blueberry ice cream. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as I'm sure you can maybe tell, we've got a new background. It is official, we have finally moved in. We are pretty much settled. I am so, so excited to be back filming videos for you guys. If you didn't know that we moved, we moved. If you want to catch up on the moving vlogs and see all the stressful events that went down, then be sure to do so. You just search Jazzy Vlogs, moving vlogs. I'm sure they'll come up. So as I'm sure you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, we're going to be testing out more TikTok life hacks. I've already posted two of these videos. We're going to be testing out some more. I'm very, very excited. And this may also be a two part video because I've got quite a lot. I bought all the props that I needed or slash found them around the house. Um, and we're just gonna test out a lot. I have my phone here and on it I have a lot of TikTok saved. I also have a few written down that I remember seeing and saving, but I cannot find them because I seem to save a lot of TikTok. First life hack requires a Rubik's cube. And apparently we're gonna solve it by doing these moves over and over again. Just continually doing this until it apparently solves itself. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was trying to be funny and pretend like it worked and then I was gonna tell you that it didn't work, but at first I wanted to pretend that it did work. Um, and in doing so, I've just messed up my Rubik's Cube. Basically, I'm gonna try and explain this the best I can. There is a hack on TikTok where you can grab an unsolved Rubik's Cube and you can do this and just keep doing this and the Rubik's Cube will solve itself, which just isn't a thing. That is not a way to solve a Rubik's Cube because the part that you're holding when you're doing this isn't gonna solve itself, unless of course you already solved it. And that's how people do this magic TikTok trick where they go, ah, oh, you just do this and it solves itself because they start with a solved Rubik's Cube, do this in one direction so it looks like an unsolved Rubik's Cube and then go, guess what, now when I do it backwards, it will solve itself. And that's the magic trick of the hack of solving a Rubik's Cube. Only thing is, I started with the solved Rubik's Cube and I did this and I was like, let me muddle it up and then I'm gonna reverse this and unmuddle it, but somehow, I didn't reverse it correctly, and now I have just muddled up a Rubik's Cube. Did not plan on solving the Rubik's Cube today. Had to look up how to do it, so I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, I'm getting really stressed at this point. Thank flip, I've got two to go. I was so close, and I've managed to mess it up again. And I'm getting stressed. Okay, we are literally where I was five minutes ago. We're back to these top two corners. I just wanna turn them round. Look, this corner is white, red, and green. It's in the right place. It just needs to flip. That's all I wanna do. That's all I wanna do. <laughs> so, we're gonna start this life hack again. I can't believe how much time I just wasted solving a freaking Rubik's Cube, but this is the way that it works. People start with a solved Rubik's Cube. They hold it in their hand and the part that they're holding doesn't move. Then they'll twist this one and 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 this one. Then they'll go, look, I have an unsolved Rubik's Cube. But if I do this, then it solves itself. But it was already solved and they'd only muddled it up a tiny bit and that's the life hack. So after all of that, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know, no, you cannot solve a Rubik's Cube by doing the same two moves over and over because half of the Rubik's Cube won't even move when you do that. Just saying, just saying. I don't wanna touch that Rubik's Cube for a long time. We all know how I feel about balloons. Don't love them, the pop makes me jump. Um, I feel like this life hack is gonna bring the same amount of horror to me. Um, it involves putting a piece of popping corn in straighteners and apparently it pops. Now, I don't know if this is camera trickery or whether the heat from the straighteners does actually make it pop. I feel like I'm leaning towards the heat of the straighteners does genuinely make it pop because why wouldn't it? But at the same time, part of me doesn't believe it. So, don't think I've ever actually opened a bag of popcorn like this before. Let's find a kernel. They are sat in like, fat? Like, 
Okay, I got the wrong popping corn. I don't know if this is gonna work. So here's my piece of corn. I've wiped off the fat, but I'm kind of nervous because I feel like this doesn't look like the color that I thought it was gonna be. But okay, also, how do you get this on there? Just chuck it or... Nope, not like that, apparently. How do I get this on there without burning my hands? Ah, nope. Nope! <laughs> There's no tomorrow. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, he's on there. I'm scared. I'm scared. Is it gonna be a big bang or like just a little poof? I'm scared. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna drop the straighteners, aren't I? No, please don't. Oh gosh. It's not, how long do you have to hold this for? I feel like I'm getting too relaxed because I don't think this works. I've been here for a long while now and my camera battery is about to die. Why are you not popping? I'm gonna change my battery pack. I'm gonna get another piece of corn. We'll try it again. I feel like I want to deem this camera trickery because it doesn't seem to be working. Oh my goodness, stay still. But I'm really stubborn, so I'm just gonna sit here until it does. And, right, okay, okay. If this does work, if this does pop, who on earth sat this long waiting for it to pop? It is definitely starting to smell of popcorn. I don't know if that's because it's ready to pop or because whatever that oily stuff on the popcorn was is just burning into the air. Am I meant to squidge it hard or what? It is not. That went straight in my eyeball. I pray I can get good slow motion on that. That went, oh! I have a piece of popcorn. <laughs> This is so weird. I know I did that with the intention of getting a piece of popcorn, but now I'm holding a piece of popcorn. I'm weirdly impressed that I have a piece of popcorn. I think it just bounced off my eyelashes because my eye isn't watering, so I don't think it went in the eyeball, but it went in this region and that was so dangerous. This life hack gets a thumbs up, but it's like a would you ever really do this just for a piece of corn? I mean, that took like five minutes and look how many pieces of corn you'd want to make a bowl. And by the time you've got a bowl, this one's already cold now. Also, should I actually eat it? Mm. In my previous video, I tried the life hack where you put fairy washing up liquid onto the end of a sock, on the end of a bottle and you blow through it and bubbles come out. Since then, I have seen at TikToks where you put cleanser onto the end of a flannel or a towel, blow through it, and there's even more bubbles. So we're gonna give this a go and see how it works. We're gonna do this, make it a little bit wet, and then we're gonna... That is nowhere near the number of bubbles that I saw other people do, and also now I have no lipstick on. So that's good, let's try a different cloth. Let's try this flannel instead, or cloth, whatever you want to call it, facial cloth thing. Right, let's soak this area. Get some on there, whoa, whoa, it's dripping. Oh no, it's dripping. Okay, are we ready? That's more like it. That worked way better, right? Okay, we really need to soak this area. You're really wasting a lot of cleanser just for a few bubbles, but if you're like me, it's fun. So. That one gets a thumbs up, but again, a kind of eh, thumbs up because realistically, what are you using that for? <laughs> also, in my last video, I showed how to make like a big bubble and clearly I did a terrible job of explaining. Um, because I got a lot of questions asking me to show how I did it. So I'm gonna go get some bubbles on my hands and then I will show you my bubble trick. So you close your fist, you open it, there's a bubble opening. And you just blow through it. And then you have a really lovely big bubble. Also, if you're in a bath and you cover like your body in bubbles, then this bubble can sit anywhere you want. And uh, <laughs> went to my mouth. Okay, so with a lot of these life hacks, I feel like I've seen them a couple of times or I've seen people recreating them or I know of them or like with the Rubik's Cube one I know it wouldn't work because I have prior knowledge. This one I have zero 
zero idea if it works or if it doesn't or how it works or anything. But when the guy did it, he seemed to have some sort of scientific explanation for why it works, which made me trust him and think this must work. So it involves opening up a tea bag, setting light to it and it should fly away. Um, this is the only tea bag I could find that was remotely similar because our normal tea bags, like the English breakfast tea, like normal tea bags around. So I found this one, it's a three mint tea bag and you're supposed to take it apart, which I've never done in my life. Get rid of that. So, ooh, okay. We're gonna tip that out. It is actually a long funnel. I, part of me didn't think this would be a long funnel, but it's a long funnel tea bag. Okay. Don't try this at home, kids or adults. There's no need for it. I'm doing it for you. Okay, I should have had a bottle of water in here with me. Oh no, okay. Oh gosh, I almost don't want it to fly because it's dangerous. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh goodness. Oh no, there are just bits of tea bag flying on my ceiling. Oh no, okay, I've caught it. Wait, ta da! <laughs> that worked. It was a good little magic trick. I will probably show my children when I have children. I don't have children. I don't know how much you guys watch TikTok, but there are a lot of videos on there that seem ridiculously stupid, but you're still laying in your bed thinking, I kind of want to get up and try this. So I'm going to test one of those for you. It's a TikTok I've seen where someone says, grab your left leg, then your right leg, and now try and jump. And the person can't jump good acting on their behalf because I don't see this working but at the same time I just want to try it in case there's some weird science behind lifting your leg and then lifting the other leg and you can't who knows we're gonna try it. I'm gonna make myself look very very stupid here so hold this ankle hold this ankle and jump <laughs> oh look at me I can jump <laughs> And a little part of me was like, imagine if I can't jump. Like, imagine if it's a psychological thing. Yeah, it's not. Um, you could just jump. It's fine. We're going to move on. Okay, this next one I found last night. I didn't prepare for it, um, but I've just found a crusty looking apple in the back of our cupboard. I've just run up the stairs and I'm out of breath. It's not good, is it? That is not healthy. I am unfit because I can't go to the gym because there's a world crisis. We're gonna split an apple in half with my bare hands, or at least I hope I am. So I've seen a video of a girl doing it and then she got a lot of questions being like, how on earth have you done that? So she said, you look at the top of the apple and you find its line, which I'm assuming is this, like it's got a little dent down the middle. And then she said, you do this and this, although I feel like I wanna do it like this and you just pull it apart, but it's not really working for me. She said it didn't take big old muscles. Yeah, it does. Or at least a really good technique. Let me try with this apple instead. It seems a little bit bigger. Come on, she does it like this. So I'm gonna do it her way. I mean, that's genius. I'm so happy right now. For a second, I thought it wasn't possible. It's possible. I've just ripped an... I'm so excited to show this to Nick. Just. In fact, I'm not even gonna tell him I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna sit there with my apple and be like, uh -huh. what's going on? Imagine if you're out and about and say, I don't know, one of your pals is hungry and you're like, do you wanna share my apple? They're like, not really because you know, germs. And you're like, boom, take it. This TikTok. Okay, you apparently put frozen blueberries into milk and it freezes the milk and they mush up and it makes like blueberry ice cream. This could be life changing for me. I'm really excited. So I'm gonna pop downstairs, get some frozen blueberries and some milk and I'll be right back. And I'm so excited for this. Okay, so we have our blueberries, we have our milk and she basically pours it in until they're kind of floating. She does actually measure it out. I'm not gonna lie. She takes like a cup of blueberries and then I think potentially a cup of milk, but it should be fine. So we're gonna pour this until they're just about floating. Great. Okay, okay, it's slightly working, I think. I don't know how long I'm meant to do this for. Oh my gosh, okay, it's starting to like 
it's it's working some of the blueberries have this weird milky slush puppy layer to them and other ones are just normal black blueberries and they're absolutely fine but it is kind of working okay but we're gonna try a little bit i have thoughts I have many of thoughts but I'm gonna share some thoughts with you about this special ice cream um it's not like ice cream at all it's definitely more similar to slush puppy and the second that it goes into your mouth it's basically milk but like the freshest milk you've ever tried like straight out of the freezer and out of the carton milk like really really fresh so it's good milk but then the blueberry taste comes and it's a little bit like mm. I don't know if they go not only that I have kind of sensitive teeth. I do love eating frozen things, but I tend to do it a little bit cautiously. And I feel like by the time I've gotten around to biting into the blueberry, the milk's already gone. I don't know how to explain it. This is what it looks like. My lovely blueberry ice cream. Mmm, blueberry ice cream. I'm gonna say it works. The milk definitely froze. It definitely did become like a sort of ice cream looking thing. And it is edible. Um, what I will say, not for me, probably wouldn't eat it. And unless you squidge the blueberries, which is gonna be hard because they're frozen, it isn't so much ice cream as frozen blueberries covered in frozen milk that melts when you put it in your mouth like a slush puppy. But if you're into that, this one, I'm really excited to try. So this is a tutorial on how to fake walk. I do realize this doesn't match by the way. If I do this, you can tell that I'm just standing on the spot. They do it and it sort of looks like they're on a treadmill like this, but not like this at all. So I have a tutorial on how to fake walk and we're gonna try this. This leg is gonna be doing this motion and then this leg is gonna be doing this. So, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh. Does it look like I'm walking? Oh my gosh, does it look like I'm walking? Does it look like I'm on a treadmill? What a beautiful day. It's actually quite tiring. Like this leg is killing me from just doing this. It's like a little workout, I'm not gonna lie to you. Okay, <laughs> genuinely worn out and my left leg, the thigh muscle is on fire. Just try it, try it yourself. It's like a mini workout just for your left thigh. So from what I could see, I think that worked, but I'm not 100% sure. So you're gonna have to let me know in the comments if that actually worked or not. Okay, the next thing we're gonna try was in no way, shape or form marketed as a life hack. However, I wanted to try it and I thought it would be fun to see if it actually works on my hair. So in the video, there is a girl with beautiful braids and then there's like a camera flip and all of a sudden at the end of each braid is a little balloon filled with helium and her hair is like floating and it looks amazing. And I just really, really, really wanted to try it the only problem is I don't have braids and there's no way that I'm gonna go through my entire hair and braid it all. So I haven't really thought this through fully. We're just gonna give it a go. As I always say, terrified of balloons, also scared of helium tanks because it's a tank that quite literally has the warning can cause death on it. So um, there's that. In fact, last time I used a helium canister, I didn't actually feel a real balloon. So I think this is my first time ever filling a real balloon with helium. Are we ready? I feel like I could go bigger. Oh no, oh, what a waste of helium. Okay, I think that's big enough. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop it with my nails. Please don't pop, please don't pop, please don't pop. Why am I shutting my eyes as though that's gonna help? I had to get Nick to tie it up for me because I was just too scared. But also, I then let go of it, and it obviously floated because it has helium in it, but it still shocked me. <laughs> Maybe I should do a little quick plat. Okay, are we ready? Do we think this balloon can carry it? Ooh, <laughs> that's really interesting. <laughs> I really wanted it to be up like this, but it's just like, hello. <laughs> Uh-oh, oh no. Ow, just punched me in the face. Oh, see you then. Are we ready to see how high this goes? I'm so excited. <gasps> this is brilliant. <laughs> how weird does this look? This is quite something. I quite like this. <laughs> Give me like
like an hour or so and I will be back with balloons in my hair. I'm so excited for this. But also, it, oh, it feels really strange. It feels so weird. <laughs> it feels really weird. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever. My hair is way too long for this. It's been over two hours since the last clip that I filmed. And I know that I said I wouldn't plait my hair, but then I couldn't work out a way of realistically getting the balloons attached to the right sections of my hair. So this has happened. I did a very, very poor job. I do not commend myself, but I now have roughly 20 something plaits in my hair with little elastic bands holding them. And to each of those elastic bands, we're gonna try and tie a balloon of which there are 24 of them, I think on the ceiling. And then the helium ran out. So we can only hope there's enough. Okay, balloon number one. And I'm gonna grab this little plait. <laughs> balloon number one. This is so ridiculous. Who does this? Well, me obviously, but who does this? Oh no, this balloon doesn't wanna fly. Look at the difference. Oh no. <laughs> I think the pink ones are smaller balloons. Wait, let me grab another blue one. Oh gosh, I can't reach. Uh-oh, we're gonna have balloons at all levels here. Right, oh gosh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh dear, the things I do. I would say the things I do for you, but I don't really do it for you. I do it because it's blooming fun. <laughs> Oh no, my balloons are gonna get tangled up. <laughs> this is insanity. <laughs> Can you hear them? Boom, 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 boom. Imagine if I just took off. I just started floating away. <laughs> I'm really tangled. <laughs> this is under my arm. <laughs> I am a mass of balloons. <laughs> I think this might be the most fun I've had in a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> This is amazing! They are making so much noise around me. Okay, final one. Going on. <laughs> <Ta -da! laughs> oh. My. Goodness. <laughs> can you hear them? Bum, bum, bum. Oh no, I can hear a lot of static happening. Oh no. Oh no, this was a mistake. I can feel a lot of static happening. How do I discard? How do I like get rid of static? Ah! Okay, so I now have a uh, head full of balloons. <laughs> I'm actually really happy with how that went. I would also love to go to town like this. So if you want a video of me walking around town, let me know. Hello, I'm in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. 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 favorite thing and it matches my t-shirt too yay <laughs> right let's see if I can get a decent thumbnail we'll see how this goes I kind of don't want to take it down um so this is my new hairstyle uh give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you guys very very soon love you bye <laughs>